Hi everyone! So today I'm going to be showing you how to create this makeup look. I don't actually... I haven't really based it off anything. I've just sort of just gone for it. I guess it's sort of more a gothic look than other looks I've done. Um, but I think it's still pretty fun and cool to do. So if you would like to see how I achieve this look, then please keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my palest foundation and it is this one here which is my Revlon Colorstay in 150 buff. The next thing I'm getting is my Sheer Cover Duo Concealer and I'll just be getting the lighter shade here just to conceal my bags and my blemishes. Excuse my skin too, it is really bad at the moment. <laughs> Good thing is I don't think these cameras super pick up on it, so that makes me really happy. So the next thing I'm getting is my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in 001 Transparent. And I'm just getting this to just matte out my face so that my foundation doesn't crease. And because I feel like with this look a matte face is better. Now onto my eyebrows, I'm getting my Stila palette in Eyes of the Window Soul and I'm just going to get this black shade here and I'll be doing this for my eyebrows just so that it matches my hair more because this look is more of a dark look so I, I prefer harsh eyebrows. Now for my cheekbones, I'm getting my Ben Nye powder in contour number one. So it is more of a, what is it called? Not a warm brown, it's more of a cold brown, which is perfect for the look I'm going for. And I'm just applying it onto my skin, onto my cheekbones, sorry. Just creating a straight line. And I will also be placing it down my nose. Now what I'm going to be doing is creating a chain on my forehead. So firstly I want to create the shadows. So I'm getting my Narcissist palette and I'll be getting this taupey grey colour here. So what I want to do is just do a little bit. And then just do like a triangle up my forehead. But so it looks like it's sort of sitting. And also what I'm going to do, this won't really help with the shadowing, it's just to help me to trace it later. I'm doing a star, but I'm going to do the stars where it's triangles. Now I have got my face paint here which is in Wolf Face Art and FX Hydro Colour in number 200 and it is a silvery colour. And all you got to do is activate it with water, so it's just like a water paint.
So while I have my face paints out, I'm also getting my wolf face. Wolf. I'm also getting my other wolf face art in 008, and it's just black. So what I'm gonna do is put my hair back. Oh, and it's so long. I'm going to make a, myself a choker. So I've got a, pig, a big paintbrush and I'm just going to paint on my neck. And now I'm also going to be going back to my silver paint and I will be drawing an upside down moon. Now using this same little brush, I'm going to be doing some shading on the top of my head. This way it helps it stand out more and makes it look a bit more real. The next thing I'm going to be doing is getting the same black eyeshadow and a pointy brush and I'm just going to follow my crease. Okay, and now I'm going to put back there and I'll just blend it up a bit. I'm now getting my sleek palette in ultra matte and I'll just be getting this white shade here. I will be applying that to my lid. The next thing I'll be using is my Zoeva eyeliner pen and that'll be just to follow the same shape of what I have up there. And then I'll also be drawing a line where the back eyeshadow is. Now I will be getting my black gel eyeliner and I will just be finishing off the rest of the eyeliner. And now I'm going to do it underneath my eyes. And now I'm also going to put some black underneath my eyes. Now I will also be getting my Model Rock Lashes in 236. So now I have stuck on all my eyelashes. Sorry if it's a bit crazy. I'm now going to get my MAC false lashes and just put mascara on my top lashes. I'm not actually going to put them on my lower since they all pretty much join in anyway. So just the top ones. As the eyelash glue dries, I'm getting my MAC Soft and Gentle and I'll just be putting it 
on the tip of my nose. Also on the cheekbones. So for my lips, I'm getting my NYX lip pencil in Plum and I'll just be doing the outside. And then I'm going to just do the ombre effect. And now I will be getting NARS in Heatwave. So it's just a red. And now we are all done. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see any more tutorials like this, then please let me know. And I will see you guys later. Bye!